Hello, uh, Mr. Frosty here. And today, we're going to be doing episode 2 of Scout My Team. So, as you guys know, in the first episode, you guys really showed a lot of support. And I really appreciate that. So, if we get a lot of support on the second episode as well, then I will be scouting five teams for the next episode so if we can get this video up to 40 likes then i will be scouting five teams for the next episode so make sure you guys leave a like and show this series some love also if you guys do want to participate in this and if you guys want me to scout your team or to have a chance for me to scout your team then as always leave your name down in the description below so for example what you want to do is as you guys can see right here my friend id is mr frosty hashtag one so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your friend ID in the comment section and I'm gonna randomly choose you and you might have a chance to be featured in the next episode. So you have to be subscribed for me to scout your team though. So make sure you do subscribe and let's get right into it. So the first person who's gonna be on episode two is gonna be a man named LGN Swish. So his username is sternly swish hashtag one. So let's go ahead and look that up right here. So sternly swish hashtag one all right and he's right here as you guys can see let's go ahead and scout his team all right so looking at his offense here the first look first glance at his offense it is looking actually pretty stacked as you guys can see he has been grinding ironclad promo which is a very nice promo to grind um right here he has two of the diamonds this freaking ryan ram how do you say ram check ram check whatever he has 95 pass block, 99 runs, so I'm pretty sure he has a bunch of like people that give him boost. Um, right here, this uh, Joe Batoni only has 90 pass block. That's not that good, but you know you can always use yourself a better uh, offensive lineman there. So this is the first person I actually seen with the fullback. Wow! So he took my advice and actually got a fullback. Great man. All right, so he does have this Cam Newton right here. So this Cam Newton is actually pretty nice, but I heard a lot of complaints about it. From other people but i mean i don't know maybe he plays good i never played with him so who knows you do have this frank gore you have this deandre hopkins pretty nice you have that john ross so do i you have ones a spread though i i think you're running either spread or vertical i'm not too sure on what you're running here man but it looks like you're running vertical for some reason but who knows it's like all over the place maybe it could be both who knows you also have that jerry cook you have that nice randy moss right here beautiful randy moss uh, I really like that card. You have that Nate Solder. You have Brandon Brooks, Austin Rettler, and uh, Joe Batonio and Ryan uh, Ram. I'm just calling Ryan Ram. So on offense, you're not really looking that bad. Honestly, just probably this Joe Batonio is like, like the only person you got to replace. And maybe this Ryan. So honestly, your offense is looking pretty nice. Um, You do have that Joe Batonio though that I might get rid of because he only has 90 pass block. You can do a bit better than that. Um... Also, probably this Ryan Ram, but, you know, he's pretty decent for right now with that 95 pass block and 99 run, so it's not that bad. So, taking a look at your defense here at first glance, it looks really nice, man. It looks like a really solid defense, in my opinion. Right here, you have a lot of high overall cards, except for this guy right here, but besides him, all your, all your other cards are looking very, very nice, man. Very nice. So, you have that Bobby Wagner, you have that Jamie Collins, you have that Calvinoy. A lot of people have this Calvinoy, I've noticed. Um, you also have that Jerry Hughes, Mario Addison, Don Terry Poe, Aaron Donald, Desmond King, Deion Sanders, uh, John Johnson III, Ronnie Lott, uh, Dick Butkiss, okay, Darwin James, and this uh, uh, Woozy. Right, so I think I said that name wrong, but if I was you, I'd probably get rid of him right here. Obviously, I mean, it's pretty obvious you gotta get rid of him. But everybody else is pretty nice. I mean, no complaints. I have no other, like, you know, things to tell you here because your defense is looking pretty nice. Um, I see you're going for that 99 overall Mario Addison. That's actually pretty nice. He has some pretty good stats. And yeah. So what I would focus on for you right here is probably just like change this cornerback and probably that um, Joe Batonio. And you should be good. You know, maybe get yourself that Odell fullback if you're really looking to upgrade your team more. Probably get yourself a better fullback. Um, and yeah, that's about it, man. Good team, bro. Good team. All right. So the second person to get chosen here is going to be a man named Caden FDW. So... We're gonna go ahead and scout his team. He says, Scout me, phase hashtag 23. So his name is phase hashtag 23. Let's look him up here. And he is right here. Let's take a look at his team. Let's see how good it is. 
Oh, so at first glance, I can see that your own line needs some work. Um, also, get yourself a fullback, please. From the top right here, I can see that you're running that spread scheme. So that's not bad. Um, I heard a lot of positive things about spread. Uh, you do have the RG3 quarterback. That's not bad. You have the Adrian Peterson. Pretty decent stats, as you guys can see here. 94 speed. Not that bad. It's a pretty good card, in my opinion. Uh, you also have that Juju Smith Shoista. You have that Marquise Goodwin. Uh, let's take a look. 93 speed. Not bad. Uh, you have that Evan Ingram, 95 speed for a tight end. That's really good. I was either going to choose between Ingram or Kittle, but I chose Kittle because a lot of people told me that Kittle was better, so I chose Kittle. You also do have a Tyler Eifert for another tight end right there, so that's pretty good. I see you're like doubling up on your catch. He has 91 catch. That's pretty low. Uh, maybe you want to get him up, but your main focus right now should be this O-line right here, as you guys can see. He has a bunch of elite O-line players. And that's no bueno, man. So this guy right here has 86 pass block. That's not that great, honestly. Um, he has 84 pass block. Uh, yikes, man. I would probably try to get rid of those guys right there. Uh, this Ryan Ram on his team has 86 pass block. Not that great. Not that great. But honestly, I would rather get rid of those elites and those diamonds. So try to get yourself some better O-line players um, and try to get rid of these elites right here, man. All right, so a first glance at his defense, you can see a lot of elites here. So his main focus is obviously going to be his defense here. His own line is decent compared to his like defense right now. As you guys can see, you need a lot of work for this defense, bro. Uh, let's take a look here. This guy has 78 speed. So this Rashad Jones, 78 speed. You need to cut him right away, bro, because he's not going to do anything for you. You have an 82 overall right here. A Minka Fitzpatrick, 81 speed again. Those speeds are really going to kill you if you're trying to play some overdrive because... If you get matched up against somebody with a, a better team or something, or like a fast wide receiver, then you're going to be done for. The speed right here is not in your favor. As you guys can see, he has a bunch of uh, cornerbacks and safeties with under uh, 90 speed, which is what you don't want. RK, except for this guy. So this Bobby McCain has 90 speed. That's not bad. Uh, his man coverage is 89. That's pretty decent for an elite. That's not too bad. Um, you also have this uh, Jarell Dave or Jared Davis sorry, as a middle linebacker. With 82 speed, just like my Mason Foster. But honestly, I wouldn't really focus on that. I would focus more on your cornerbacks and safeties, and if anything, right there, because you know that's like that's like your bread and butter, man. If you don't have any good safeties or good cornerbacks, then you don't have a good team at all, bro. So you do have this Deacon Jones, 80 speed, pretty slow, but that's kind of decent for now. This Don Terry Poe, again, kind of slow, but he's decent for now. Uh, you do have a lot of ironclad players, I see. So that's pretty good that you're trying to take advantage of the ironclad defensive promo. So that's not that bad. You also have this uh, 90 overall. A quick recap on your team. I would focus more, like I said, on your defense than your offense right now. So on defense, I would focus extremely more on your cornerbacks and safeties. Your linebackers are pretty decent for right now. But your cornerbacks and safeties is where you're lacking at, bro. You really need to upgrade your cornerbacks and safeties first, if anything. And then for your offense, obviously... You need to work on that old line, bro. And that is my tip for you. Hopefully it helps you. And let's move on to the next one. So the last person that's going to get scouted on episode 2 is going to be a man named Slim509. So his username is Slim509, hashtag 3. So let's go ahead and look him up. So Slim509. Sorry. Hashtag 3. Let's go ahead and take a look at his team here. So he's ranked actually 4,000 right now. And head to head i'm assuming so that's not that bad wow all right so first glance at this man's team it's not looking that bad it's not looking too shabby it's looking like a decent budget beast team in my opinion here so right here he has this tyler boyd 91 speed not that bad uh right here he has this antonio gates i was actually gonna pick this up but instead i got um i think i got the castro over him yeah i got this uh oh no i got ramon foster sorry about that so i got ramon foster over that antonio gates right there um, let's see what else you got here. You have this Marquise Goodwin, not bad. A lot of people have that Marquise Goodwin. A lot of people have this Anthony Miller. And a lot of people have this ironclad like players right now. So not bad, not bad. I can see that your O-line is kind of slacking a bit, as you guys can see right here. He has two elites on his O-line. So maybe you can get rid of those two and get yourself something better. He does have a 99 overall Dermonte Dawson. So right here, you do have this Ezekiel Elliott, 95 speed. That's not that bad, honestly, for Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, you do have this Baker Mayfield, so right off the bat, I can see that you're running Smash Mouth, so that's pretty nice that you're running that um, type of scheme, that you're actually trying to keep up with the scheme, so that's probably why you have that old lineman right there, because it's a Smash Mouth, but 
you know, try to upgrade on your O-line and probably try to get yourself a little bit more faster receivers. 93 speed is not that bad. 91 speed is kind of slow at this point in the game. So try to raise that up a little bit. Try to get yourself at least 95 speed for each receiver. And of course, also focus on your O-line. So taking a look at his defense, as you guys can see, a lot of elites on his defense. So maybe this is going to be your main focus right here is your defense. Most likely it is because you got this Harrison Smith with 79 speed. Uh, you don't need that, bro. You need something else that's going to at least keep up with the people. Uh, you have this Ray Nitschke, 89 overall. His 99 or his 98 overall card is actually really godly. So try to consider that one, but he does cost a lot of coins. Uh, you do have this uh, a Woozy. Sorry if I'm not saying his name right, but he has 90 speed. Pretty decent, but like I said, I would try to replace him. You have this Shaquille Griffin, 83 speed. Again, speed is not looking like your main, um, your strong point right here. I mean, um, 85 speed on that one. You have 90 speed on this Bobby McCain. Uh, let's see what else you got here. You got this Michael Bennett, 78 speed. Wow, man, pretty slow, pretty slow for that defensive end right there. You have this Mario Addison, so I'm assuming you're going for the 99, not bad. You do have Zach Brown, you have Slayton Van Der excuse me. You have Danny Trevathan, and you do have Vita Veo, so that, that's not that bad. So what I would focus on more here is probably your defense, because your cornerbacks are very, very slow. Um, right here, 90 speed. You have this 83 speed right here, and you also have this Everson Walls with 85 speed. Honestly, would change that right away, because let's just say I go against you. And I use this Tyreek Hill, 97 speed. There's no way an 83 speed is going to keep up with a 97, bro. So if I was you, I would replace those cornerbacks real quick. So a quick recap on your team. Like I said, your main focus is going to be your defense here. So your cornerbacks, especially your cornerbacks and your safeties might have to go. Or not might, but they have to go because they're really slow. So try to consider getting yourself some budget beasts, cornerbacks, and safeties for your defense here. So for your offense, again, like I said, try to get your receivers a little bit more up there on speed. And for your O-line as well, try to get rid of those elites and you should be Gucci. Hopefully you guys did enjoy episode two of Scout My Team. Um, like I said, if you guys want to be in the next episode, then comment down below on this video, your username again. Like I said, you got to put your friend ID in the comment section and you have a chance to get picked. So go ahead and try to do that, guys. Um, also, leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. I will only scout your team if you're subscribed to me. And um, yeah.